all right here's a quick one for you my whole intention when i started up this channel was to add you know do fishing videos and do fishing stories of which i have a lot of them i mean i've been fishing for almost 40 years now so i've got some good ones and i've <laughs> i've been all over the east coast been to canada been everywhere in between but um had a friend named alan silver rest in peace alan silver a lot of the guys watching this video are going to know who i'm talking about alan used to tell some tall stories and I liked them because of it. Some people didn't like them because of it, but I like those kind of salt of the earth guys, and I really liked Alan a lot, and I really do miss the guy. Uh, but we were talking one time when I first got on the scene on Lake Lanier, he had asked me, well, no, I had asked him, you know, Alan, how do you how do you catch the big gizzard chat and all that stuff, you know? And he's like, oh, man, what you got to do is you got to take your troll motor, you run it right up there into the rocks, and dang, you throw your net. And I'm like, Alan, what, aren't you going to mess up your troll motor? He goes, ah, it don't matter. You break the shaft, you just get cut a piece of PVC and put it in there. That's all it is. It's just PVC. You just get another piece of PVC, replace it, be fine. I'm like, Alan, I'm pretty sure they're they're not just a piece of PVC. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I've never taken one apart until now. But I can confirm you this is not just a regular piece of PVC. Alan, wherever you are looking down on us, this is not PVC, buddy. <laughs> I miss you, buddy. But uh, that's one of my little short stories for you. I just remembered this moment when I was taking apart this trolling motor. <laughs> he told me that the shafts were made out of just regular old uh, plumbing PVC. <laughs> Heck of a guy, that Alan. Rest in peace, buddy. Miss you.